okay hi welcome back to another video please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification um today's video is about showing you how to do your own box braids and this is what the result is going to look like i use for today's video what you're going to need you're going to need six packs of braids i use the queen bee braids um in the color burgundy um 613 one pack of 613 and because i kind of rolled out of some braids i also have some one b burgundy in the back as well so you're going to need six pack of that of course you're going to need some rubber bands um you're going to need a comb to section your hair you're going to need moisturizer any moisturizer i'm using the mango butter moisturizer and this is pretty much to keep your hair moisturized under that braid you're going to need some mousse and this is really at the end you don't have to use this but it would be good and stuff for your edges like some edge controls some um gel and things like that and of course you're going to also need a scissors so that's pretty much what you're going to need before we get started so go ahead and grab your things and continue watching this video <laughs> so my next step is I'm using the rubber man method so what I'm going to do is now try to evenly separate these sections into columns ignore my thinning edges I'm currently working on some treatments to probably do a video about them if they work but in the meantime they will fit up. so I'm gonna go ahead and try to evenly separate this um, into rows or columns already went ahead and put the rubber band in, in the front so the front is ready to go so I just let this side to show you what that looks like here are my ferro my four columns or rows and they all have rubber band Lord knows you're gonna be struggling with this thinning section right here <laughs> don't come for me <laughs> anyway so I left out some baby hair here not to put any more pressure on my thinning edges i'm just gonna go ahead and spray this section up so it does not get into the back when i'm trying to get the back up. struggle that comes with braiding other than having a neat part and the rubber band has already taken care of that part is the thickness of the braiding here so i'm using the queen bee 50 inch here in color burgundy and i'm also going to mix it with 613 so this first part giving me about five to six braids i already separated them just so i can make sure they're even but one of the problems we have is that sometimes when you braid the hair is too small to match the section that you have going on. As you can see, it appears as though I have like a jumbo medium kind of thing going on. So you kind of want that hair to match that thickness. And you just have to kind of measure the thickness, feel how thick it is in your hand, um, how thick it looks against the braid in here you're about to use, and or the 
section you're about, you're about to braid and see if it's a good proportion to that. All right, so here's my section that I'm going to use. What I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this into three sections, three even sections. There we have it, that's about three. Two I'm gonna merge back together. And then one section I'm going to go ahead and loop that around the hair so I have this. Why I want this to have similar proportion to this one day when it touches back together like that, okay? Then we're gonna go ahead and set up for our first braid. So my, I have like the section that's glued together I'm still holding right here with my hand. And then my separated sections are around the hair. I'm just going to use one of these to grab onto the hair. So the section that's joined together is what I'm using to grab the piece of hair in the middle right now. And then I'm gonna start my braid. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap that in. Just pay attention to the fact that you're getting that rubber band covered at the root because that ain't gonna be cute if it's showing. You're gonna wanna really hold that root in. method this one wasn't tucked so good up there but as you can see this one was done good so I'm gonna go ahead and do it now I'm putting in a 613 up here so again you know the technique about separating the hair so two thirds of the hair in one hand and one third in the other okay we all got that part Next step, you know, loop the hair like that, and then this creates its own. These two will be separated. So I'm gonna try and demonstrate the tucking technique for you as well. So here we go with that. I'm just gonna already set my hand up where it's comfortable. Loop the first piece under. This is where my real hair is going to go, so I'm going to have that slide underneath that piece. And then keep looping like that. So when tucking, pretty much you just want to keep your natural hair hidden underneath the braid. I've shown you several times already throughout this video you want to divide the hair in three sections well to help you find those really two 
sections that you need. So one section is about two thirds of the hair in your hand. Another section is about a third, of course. Then, so this one is my two thirds. Let me keep adjusting if you feel like uh, too much over here, too little over there, you know. And here we have it, two thirds, one third, loop. Create that loop in the middle. Try to keep the ends um, not tangled so it's not going to fall in braiding. Um, so these will be two of my braiding piece and this will be my third braiding piece. So go ahead and set that up around the hair. Here's my section. I'm my comfortable group. And then start working your hands. So day three or day two and a half of us doing it ourselves and wrapping up this braid. So today I'm going to actually go ahead and hot water the ends of my braids. It actually looks really nice and professionally done. I am going to, what you're going to need for this section here is a towel. I'll recommend two. I'm going to have one that I'm going to throw over my shoulders. So a, lot, a larger towel than this one. You're going to need hot water, which I have on the stove. I'm going to go get that soon. A uh, large enough cup to dip the ends of your hair in. And yeah, that's what we need for right now. So I'm going to get that ready for us and we'll get into this section. Protect that body. do this part in sections small enough sections that you can manage here's my cup with my hot water usually I'll do this over the sink but the way my camera is set up this is how we get it today it's best to pour it on the hair so if you're over a sink and I wish I had my stand here but it's not in front of me you could pour it on the hair so it's not curling up but this way I'm gonna use the towel okay and I'm kind of just using a towel to straighten it out like that but one of the easiest ways though is to actually just hold your braids over a sink and pour the hot water on it into another container so you don't waste the hot water um, yeah. are looking nice and straight so it looks so professional at this point and then what I would do now is my little final touches oil my roots I'm gonna be using this Shea Moisture anti-breaking free sheen um, but what I'm gonna show you now applying my some mousse onto the braid so get rid of the frizz
I'm spraying my, and then what I like doing when I braid my hair is to get the towel that I was using earlier and kind of dip the center of it like this into the cup, in the hot water in the cup. And that's me refilling the cup several times because eventually the hot water runs out. So I did a kettle of water. And so I have that steam on the rag right now. And so I'm going to lay that on top of my braid. I don't know what it really does. I think it does something. So I like doing that. Anytime I braid, I have to do that. That's my pretty much, you know, I'm done when I do that step. I feel like it just lays everything down pretty much. And then I rub that down. Okay guys, so at this point, I'm pretty much done. Add a little oil sheen. This is some braiding oil spray. This is all natural braiding oil spray. Very cheap at the Chinese store. Okay, so right now what I'm gonna do is pretty much lay my edges down with some gel and some um, edge control and then just come back and show you what it looks like style and complete. this is the end of the video thank you so much for watching another video remember to subscribe turn on the notification so you can be notified every time i upload until next time bye okay bye